close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It has been a minute, but I am back. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this makeup look. Um, more focused on the eyes because that is the star of the show. Um, so I'm just going to be focusing on the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. Beached Eyeshadow Palette. And I want to show you guys how to create this blue makeup look which is really on trend right now. It is in most of the eyeshadow palettes you guys can find this kind of shade of blue it is really pretty and beautiful and summery and we are heading into spring so it is perfect for your first of september spring look so if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep watching this palette is so gorgeous um as you guys can see it has well it is a green um packaging and then it has embossed the logo is embossed as well as the name of the palette which is the beached eyeshadow palette from urban decay and then inside it is quite nice it has a mirror and then it has the shades which are beautiful as well so this palette does not belong to me unfortunately it belongs to my sister her friend was awesome and gifted her with this gorgeous palette so I just decided why not snatch it and kind of do a makeup look for you guys so today we will be focusing on the eyes only um, and I'm just going to create a really fun makeup look it has beautiful um, warm tones and then it has the blue tones as well which just reminds me of some sort of beautiful sunset so let's get straight into it starting off I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer this is in the shade 25 and I'm just going to be applying a small amount on and then we'll just go with a beauty blender and blend that in. I haven't done my eyebrows as yet. I'm kind of still figuring out whether I want to fill it in or just have it a super, super natural eyebrow. So we'll see at the end of the makeup look. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I have mark left from a pump so I just want to make sure that that's covered up. I haven't done my makeup um, like this in a long time. I normally do my eyes first and then work my way around and do the face last. And now, let's see how this works out. So now I'm just picking up some powder and I'm just going to be taking it on a brush. Just making sure that we set those eyelids. You guys would have seen that I went to a L'Oreal event and I created like um, a halo smoky eye it was um had a pop of pink in there so i'm going to do a similar look and then i'm just going to be obviously showing you guys how i do that and this is going to be a much warmer look and i'm still deciding whether i want it to be a blue eye or an orange eye with a pop of blue so let's just choose a brush and get started so i've decided i'm gonna go in with daybreak and this is a warm orange shade like I always do, tilt the head back and then we're just going to kind of work it in a circular motion. Oh, this eyeshadow is so pigmented. In a corner and then just connect it together. Obviously, as you guys can see, as soon as I open my eye, it disappears. So with this eye look, we're going to take it up a bit further. And just blend it out completely. Going in with a clean brush and this is where the blending happens. So now we're just going to be blending and kind of working our way towards the eyebrow. And just blend back and forth. We want to still make sure that the eyeshadow remains in a circular kind of motion. The same brush I'm going in with the shade Wedge. It's the shade over here. And it is like a metallic shade. But we're going to use this to create definition and I'm starting in the outer and then placing in the inner corner as well and then just joining the two at the top. Oh, this blends beautifully. Oh, my bird. Taking our brush that we used before 
and just blending those two eyeshadows together. I'm just going to pick up some of Daybreak again and it is this orange shade just to run it over the top. I'm going to pick up some of Heat Wave and I'm just going to be placing that in the same place that I did with Daybreak. Now we're going back in with Wedge, picking that up on a small brush and I'm going to be placing it quite close to my lash line and the outer part of the eye as well as the inner part. So picking up a flat brush and I'm going in with double dip first, it's this beautiful turquoise colour. So now we're going to just place this in the centre of the lid. Shoe kiss. That's when I am I'm shoe kiss. This palette. Wow, the colors are so pigmented, it's amazing. I'm gonna go in with Plunge. It is the darker blue shade. And I'm just gonna pick some of that up and then I'm just going to be placing it next to the blue that we just did. So because I'm using a window, like you guys know, the light is moving and I'm just kind of moving with it. And I'm just taking a clean, clean brush and I'm just making sure that those edges look good, blending that out. Underneath my eyes, I'm going in with both blue shades again and I'm just going to be placing that underneath my eyes with a small brush. So I'm just going to be placing the mirror slightly up and then running that along the lower lash line. I'm going to take some on a small brush, some of this um, double dip shade and I'm just going to put it in my tear ducts as well. And over that I'm just going to make it a bit more subtle with a blaze. So I tried out a trick that um, I saw on Daisy Perkins' YouTube channel and please guys, I, was rather, <coughs> I would rather suggest that you guys use an eyeliner but on her channel she used a liquid lipstick just to line the inside of her waterline. So I just picked up um, some of this orange LA Girl liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Instinct and I just want to line my waterline uh, because I don't have an orange liner but i know that urban decay does have one which is a really pretty color as well so i'm just going to line inside of my waterline and don't try this at home so that's what it looks like feels slightly weird um so i'm just going in with um mascara i already did the top lashes and i just want to do the bottom lashes this is the Smashbox Super Fan Fan Out Mascara and I love the way it makes my lashes just look super long so and then for eyebrows I'll be using the Palladio Brow Obsessed Brow Building Mousse with Fibers so I don't want to make like a hectic brow so I'm just going and running this through my eyebrows and just darkens it up nicely. For lashes, I'll be using the MAC lashes. This is in the style A15. So for this look, obviously the focus is the eye. So you want to make sure that the lash that you're wearing is not a hectic lash that will cover up what we just did on our eyes. But you do want to get that volume and just extra length to your own lashes. So I'm using a very natural one. You want to make sure that your lash glue is slightly dry and tacky and then I'm just going to be placing it as close to my lash line as possible because we don't have liner we want to make sure that there aren't any gaps and once it's tacky it sticks down quite easily as you guys can see not too much of a hectic lash but it does add that nice um, dimension to your own lashes for lip liner I'm going to use MAC Spice which 
Um, is that sharpened? Well, anyway. And then on my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX um, Soft Matte Cream Lip Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Stockholm. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave all comments in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any questions for me, you can pop them in the comment section down below as well. Until the next video, bye.